This is the Alberta Innovates Research Facility in Devon, one of five locations in the province. Even though it's hundreds of kilometers from Fort McMurray, work here could have a profound impact on the oil sands. Ben Foti is studying how to prolong the life of pipelines that carry mined ore. It's almost like pumping liquid sandpaper and go through them in a matter of months. In another area, Harry Saprialis studies failures due to corrosion. To prevent these failures, AITF is investigating alternative materials that are more corrosion resistant. And Gary Fisher researches surface engineered coatings and overlays. With the breadth of laboratory equipment and facilities we have within AITF, we're the leaders for simulating the service conditions within the oil sands. All of the research is part of a program called MARIOS, Materials and Reliability in Oil Sands. It is a consortia composed of a number of stakeholders. Uh, it is run by AITF. It's led by industry to solve problems in terms of materials, reliability, and um, production in the oil sands industry. Dr. John Walodko is the director of the Marius program. He says one of the biggest challenges in the oil sands sector is the ever increasing costs of building, maintaining, and operating facilities. The oil sands industry in general spends over three billion dollars a year in maintenance and another five to seven billion dollars in lost production during the time that they're shut down either through scheduled or unscheduled maintenance. The goal of Marios is to develop knowledge and validate technologies to significantly reduce that downtime and improve operational reliability and productivity in the oil sands industry. The consortium links oil sands producers, materials and equipment suppliers, fabricators and technology providers to solve industry-wide problems together. Inherently all the oil sands operators have similar problems and it just it makes more sense that they work on this together. Alberta Innovates provides that sort of center focal point where companies can come together and share information and solve the problems collaboratively. It's a lot better having, uh, you know, a hundred people or a thousand people working on your on your uh, issues than just, uh, you know, the, the, the several that we have here. We had developed something that we felt would work, and Marios or Alberta Innovates was the tool to get us exposed in the right places. So uh, we joined up, and we've been moving fast forward ever since. Alberta Innovates has brought together their highly qualified people and equipment to create this unique model. Areas of research include slurry pipeline systems, wear resistant overlays, corrosion engineering, welding, instrumentation for oil sands, and equipment reliability. Companies avoid having to tackle these major problems individually. Let's say we open up a new mine, what can we expect? If we have just our experience, we have a little piece of the picture. If we have everyone's experience, then we have a, we can uh, project closer what we're going to get for where. Right now, over 40 companies are part of Marios. Besides the high-tech research that the program provides them, these people from the industry say being at the table together may be just as important. The industry is losing the gray-haired guys, and this is an excellent form for the experts within various companies, or those that want to be, gathering up meeting with the experts within the Marios program at least at AITF and trading information, trading knowledge, uh, advancing knowledge um, and that is probably just as valuable. In the long run that'll be just as valuable for sure. By having access to those other individuals or other brains that are working on the issues, we can uh, move uh, the goalposts a lot quicker. There is no other organization in the world looking at all the different activities in terms of reducing the downtime of equipment that we are at Alberta Innovates.